Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas, everyone! I'm Margul Fomf, and my gift to you is a walkthrough for Christmas Stories, The Christmas Tree Forests. A year ago, Mom left to get presents and went missing. Dad was overcome with sadness and started working twice as much. I just try to remember the old days. Mom bought me the snow globe for my first Christmas, and I always put it under the Christmas tree. But wait, what's this? It's a message from Mom. The snow globe will lead you to me, Inga. Please find me. And that's the story of the game. Hooray! So Mom disappeared last Christmas. It's a year later, and now I have a magic snow globe, which will lead me directly to Mom. Fantastic! So the snow globe is over here in the bottom right-hand corner. It's our hint button. You can click on it, and it shows you what you need to do next. So, for example, it's saying we need to take a look over here and grab the toy Santa Claus. Santa is going to be used over here on the sleigh. Let me get those scissors out first. And when you put Santa into place, we get two items. We get a bell, and uh, we get a silver key. So that's basically how the game works. You find items, they get put in your inventory, and you use the items to solve puzzles. You can also look at stuff, like here's a note from Mom. Dearest Inga, your mother loves you. If I ever disappear, don't wait a year before you start looking for me. Okay? Okay, Inga? Uh, sure thing, Mom. Sure thing. Alright, so here in the cabinet, we have a candy cane. And we use the silver key to open the cabinet. So what do we have inside? We have a bunch of items. We need to find them all based on the outline. So here's a fleur-de-lis. And here's a candlestick. And it looks like we have a stocking. Looks, we, looks like we have a bow for the violin. That is a violin holder over there. And I think we actually need to open up some things. So I, I pull this aside to get the snowman. I open up this in order to get the berries. I open up this in order to get the tree. And where is the snowflake? It's here on top. Ah! So finding all those items gives me... Oh, it's a picture of mom and dad. They look so... I was going to say happy, but they actually look kind of angry at me. Oh, sorry mom and dad. Okay, we need to get these warm clothes. So I'm going to use my scissors to cut the ribbon. And now I'll put on this outfit. I'll put on my jacket backwards. Yeah, I like wearing my jacket backwards. That's just how I do it. It's amazing. So let's see, what else do we have here in this house? Oh, it's another picture of mom. I've been looking for my mother for so long. Now I finally have a clue about where she is. Don't worry, mom, I'll save you. I'll use my magic snow globe. All right, so we take a look at the door. Uh, looks like we need some bells in order to open the door. One bell is here. And the other bell is here. Ah, and this is a puzzle. You want to ring the bells in the order they rang. So it's going to be uh, left, right, uh, then the pink one, and then the blue one. Okay, that was the correct order. Let's go outside to Leyland Hall Street. That's the name of this town, Leyland Hall. Oh no. Somebody's destroying Christmas! Yeah, yeah. You thought this was going to be a happy Christmas? How about a snow tornado? Snow tornado totally ruins the clock and my magic talking gate. Well, of course my town has a magic talking gate. Doesn't every town have one of those? Gate, are you okay? Ooh, waking up from a good rest feels great. But not when I find myself looking so awful. I should be clean and at least decorated with a Christmas wreath. Will you help me? I'll help you. Okay, so we've got to help the gates. Let me see. I want to grab that light, and then I need to find a bunch of items in order to help clean the gates. We need the lights in order to fix this, the fountain. Oh, oh, and here's the wreath. One of the things that the gates need. So you use the wreath, you put the ribbons on it. What else do we need? Cinnamon and ornaments. Cinnamon and ornament sounds good to me. 
So let's see, there is a snowflake, and is there anything up here? It's a hairpin. Nice. I'll use the hairpin to open up this. Please be something useful. Okay, some paint and another light. And take a look when I when I click on this manhole here. Ah, it's a sneaky goblin. Ooh. So let's go back inside. I need to use the snowflake here. That gives me another light and some cinnamon. Great. Exactly what I need. Here's the cinnamon. So now the wreath is looking good. And I'll use the lights on the fountain. Turn the fountain on by pushing the button. And you've got another puzzle. So this puzzle, what you want to do is uh, match things. Let's see. Violin to violin. And this bird can be matched. Let's see if I can find the match in this upper ring. Ah, there it is. There it is, so those birds match. Basically, you're going to be spinning the rings until you find the matches. So, here's a goblin. Where can I find its match in the outer ring? Hmm. Here. In the outer ring. That's where we have that goblin match. Okay, let's see. Is there anything else I can match here? Uh, these berries. Those berries. Those berries match with uh, these ones. Looks like we still need a penguin. I see the penguin here. Penguin match. And then finally, a uh, gingerbread man. Let's find some gingerbread. Run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't find me. I'm a gingerbread man. Where is that gingerbread man? Where is, is it? I, uh, hmm. Okay, I might use a hint for this. Hint says, not in there. Uh, here, here, found it, got it. Thank you, hint button. Okay, so that gives me a violin! Yes, yeah, so the violin goes over here in the uh, violin holder. I would like to warn the people watching this video that in real life, violence is never the answer. So that gives me a brush and some ornaments. Perfect, perfect ornaments for the wreath. Great! That's actually a really nice looking wreath. Uh, I've never heard of putting uh, cinnamon on your wreaths before, but it looks good. Hopefully nobody tries to eat the wreath. That would be weird. Okay, so brush it off. Brush off the gate. Yeah, I think we need to brush off the gate before we paint it. I think we need to do that before we put the wreath into place. So now the gates are looking nice. Wonderful! Now that I'm looking festive, you may pass. What a nice girl. I am such a nice girl. Yay! I'm so nice. So now we get to go to the forest outside of town. <laughs> ah! Goblin! What are you doing? <laughs> you just ruined that pre- Oh! It's that snow tornado again. The goblin's destroying presents and then- I, I couldn't quite tell what happened after that. Was the goblin attacked by the snow, snow tornado? Or, or, or what? I, hmm. Anyway, uh, Leyland Hall, that's the name of our town. So we need to find a little town thingy here, and we need to get that. Uh, let's take a look at the squirrel. Can't do anything with the squirrel yet. The squirrel needs some food. So the snowman has a shovel and uh, a runner. And this, this needs to be oiled. This clearly needs a button. Okay, so the snow shovel's gonna go here. It's gonna dig out the sled. Mm, but the sled needs a working uh, runner. And I don't have one of those. So let's let's go back. This is a map. There's a map in the bottom uh, left-hand corner. You can use it to go from one location to another. You know, in case you don't want to go through the door and out through the door again. Well, you can use the you can use the map to get somewhere quickly. You can also use the hint button to get somewhere quickly. So just click on hint and it says, hey, go here next. So it's a very useful hint button. I'm going to put this here. That's going to give me a, a minute hand, I believe. Or is it an hour hand? Either way, we're going to put all three hands on the clock in order to fix the clock. Don't be fooled by this candy cane. I know the candy cane looked a lot like those hands, but no, that's, that's actually not the case. Okay, so this is kind of a tricky puzzle. What we need to do is move these presents around. Yeah, I 
think I've got it. There we go. Okay, so the presents on the left-hand side are really easy because we've got that green green rope going through. That is a super easy one to get. Okay, so let's see. That's, this has got to go here because that's the beard of Santa Claus. And this is Santa Claus's hat. You can see his hat. See his gloves and his hat. So it's probably going to be... Uh, he, yeah, there we go. We're going to have to swap them because this is going to be Santa Claus. And his glasses, if his glasses are in place, on that would be Santa Claus's glasses in place. Uh, let's see if I can get these other two in place. Let's see. Hmm. I'm guessing that goes there. Yeah, to fix the little hat pom-pom thing. And there we go, that's it. That is what Santa Claus looks like. Hooray! Every Christmas, Santa hangs our presents on trees in the Christmas forest. All the citizens go and look for the one that belongs to them. That's pretty neat. I, I like that, yeah. I love this tradition, but something happened last year, and all the presents were broken. Oh my gosh, I bet it was the goblin. Goblin ran through the forest, destroyed all the presents. Either that or Santa isn't well. I hope Santa's not sick. That would be terrible. So yeah, that's sort of like a, a hide-and-seek challenge, isn't it? You want to go through the forest, try to find the present for you. Anyway, uh, oil goes over here. That gives me two things, including uh, an acorn and metal fastener. So the acorn goes over here. Oh no, the goblin! <laughs> Why would you do that? Why would you do that to a poor squirrel, you evil goblin? Uh, mm. Monster goblin. Not a nice guy. I don't like him at all. So I'm going to put this here. It's going to give me uh, that thing. And uh, I will use it to fix this little runner. So you want to get these things to match the outline. You can kind of see there's like a small blue outline. So yeah. There we go. When a piece is in place... Yeah, I think that's it. No. Okay, good. When a piece is in place, the outline sort of glows blue. So that's how you solve the puzzle. You just need to click on all the buttons to get it to perfectly fit into the outline. And then we will put the runner on the sleigh. Uh, we'll have to fasten it first. And this will give us a puzzle. I'll solve the puzzle in the next video. I think we've done enough for this video. We solved a lot of puzzles in Leyland Hall at my house. Uh, next video we're going to fix these runners and that will open up the pathway through the woods where we get to meet a brand new character.